nervous. I've just had my breakfast. It is um, like a long, I don't even know how long, a long kind of fatigue building session. So some sweet spot into kind of threshold work. And then there's a five minute test very shortly after that. So it's a five minute um, under fatigue. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. No idea what box I'm gonna hold. I told Will and number last night and he laughed at me. So <laughs> I might be being a bit ambitious, um, especially with the fatigue beforehand. Over the weekend, I got uveitis, which is inflammation of the coloured part of uh, the eye, and was so, so painful and felt quite unwell at the start of the week. Ended up in the local hospital on Monday and um, getting it all checked out. I really got started on Zwift Academy in the final two weeks of the four, so it's all been quite crammed together and quite rushed. And if I make it to the end of Zwift Academy, it will be an absolute miracle because it's, it's looked in doubt so many times. Yeah, final two sessions to go, one bike test and one run test. I can I can I can nearly see, so we'll be good. Build. Ready to go. Yeah. All right. Wait. What's the target then? Two ninety. Two ninety. Is what coach says. Like in my head, I want to do three hundred. Okay. That's very ambitious. I think that is ambitious. Yeah. Two ninety is a sensible target. All right. Yeah, but when you go to free ride, you can sort yourself out. Whoa! Easy, Tiger. I can't pedal. <laughs> 140 watts never felt so hard. Oh. Pleased for that? Yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said 300 watts, didn't I? What, do, you, do you want to spin the camera around and show them your face when <laughs> you asked me last night, oh, what do you want to do? And I was like, 300. What was the face you did? <laughs> Good morning. It is Saturday. 
lovely sunny Saturday here in Swansea and I am going to spend the morning on the treadmill today after walking Alfie and that's because it's the final session of the Zwift Academy today. Um, it's a 30 minute time trial, see how far you can go in 30 minutes. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this. It's um, yeah, it's November, I'm not in any fit run shape at all. Uh, the fact that I've even got to the final session of the Zwift Academy is yeah, nothing short of a miracle because um, yeah, it's definitely definitely been in doubt at times. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's that's you know had issues come up along the way doing the Zwift Academy. Um, yeah, it's definitely looked in doubt at times and if I get to the end of today and will have completed the academy then yeah, it'll feel like a, a big achievement. A bit unsure as to what I'm going to be able to do so I think I'm going to start out fairly conservative and then maybe ramp it up towards the end. Yesterday I had the the five minute bike uh, time trial and that went yeah I hit the the kind of ambitious target that I set. It started with a three so yeah that was good and if today's run can also start with a, a three in terms of pacing minutes per kilometre then I'll be pretty happy with uh, with where I'm at for this time of year. Average was 343, I think. Oh, nice. Yeah, definitely better than what I expected. So happy with that. I'm just going to save it before it deletes or something mm. tragic. <laughs> New 5k PB. Yeah, it's a really hard one to pace that. Because the first 15 minutes felt so comfortable, and then my heart rate wasn't as high as on the bike. So yeah. Done! Zwift Academy complete! We made it through. Light work. <laughs> yeah, light work. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well, we have a special guest with us this weekend. Probably not featured on the vlog yet. Just been through the pain of a Swansea Harriers yep. run sesh. Just got my ass handed to me by the Harriers, which is all good. Now. <laughs> Snapping down before we head over to uh, Langdon Bay. Well, he's got his surfboard in the boot, ready to shred some waves. That's the terminology. <laughs> Gnarly, we'll see how it, it goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna bring the paddleboard. <laughs> All right, catch you down Langland. Like, like, 
They've all gone, haven't they? What a flop. <laughs> On to Caswell. He just knows. What are we looking like? Oh, we're all just some surfers. That was oh, yeah, more promising here. Yeah? A few moments later. <sighs> oh my days. What a relief. But yeah, while Hannah was body surfing and Will was surfing, I was just playing around flying the drone. Started following some jet skiers, wasn't really paying attention, and ended up binning the drone into a tree on the cliff. I was like, shit, heart and mouth moment went on a rescue mission thought it was kind of come to nothing but I found this other path that I'm currently on now and managed to retrieve the drone Woo! thankfully the only damage seems to be some broken propellers which are a cheap replaceable item so saved myself a hefty repair well replacing the drone in the first place That got the heart pumping, the adrenaline going. Not an experience I want to repeat anytime soon. But all just recovered. Where the fuck have you been? Rescuing the drone. What about us? We're freezing. Yeah. We've been out of the sea for about is an hour. Right? <laughs> the drone is alright. But... Yeah, but we're not. Oh well, yeah, cheers for coming. Much. Well, it's been good to have Will down for the weekend to do some training together. If you want to see his video going through what we got up to, make sure to head over to his channel and check that out. Uh, if you've made it this far through the video, hopefully that means you've enjoyed it and uh, got some value from it. So I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And for now, Hannah and I will see you next week for another video. Bye.